Well, welcome to my studio today. Today we're going to talk to you about doing a pastel painting in plain air. But before we start, we're going to talk about how we do it inside the studio and outside the studio. Inside the studio, I use the Mungu pastels, soft pastels. I start out basically with, with the hard pastels, semi-soft, and then into the soft pastels. This is a beautiful set here, and this is the one that I use in the studio. We're going to go and talk a little bit about it, and I'm going to show you how to do it outside the studio, and I'm going to show you what scene we're going to use, basically. Basically, what we're going to use is right over here. We're going to use this scene right here, how to organize, plan your composition, okay? Now, basically, I took this picture last summer, but we're going to talk about, well, I don't, I'm not one to go out in the snow and paint and all that cold air, so how to do it in the studio. And what we're going to do is we're going to talk about doing a pastel. I'm going to show you a quick little free lesson on how to set it up. First of all, let me show you these pastels here. Now, this is soft pastel. This is the pastel that you would use towards the end of your picture. Okay, this is called a gallery. They're beautiful pastels. They're not so soft that they break in your hands. They're just soft enough to go under the canvas and, and get a nice texture, textural uh, color on the canvas. Okay. Now let me open this up and show you what it looks like inside. Now these are beautiful pastels. Just, just, just to, to use them is, is, is a privilege. These are the colors here. Now when you start using these pastels, and if they break, don't worry about them because they'll break in little pieces and whatever. The little pieces I use later, and I'm going to show you how to do that. But basically, when I'm painting with pastels, I'll start out with a semi-soft pastels, or kind of a hard, semi-hard pastel, rather. And I'll show you how to do that, and we're going to start that sketch. And then we go to a semi-soft, and then we go to the soft, okay? And basically, as you're painting, you don't take, and you may not use half the pastels in this box. You may use a portion of them. We're going to talk about color, color spectrum. We're going to talk about uh, warm colors, cool colors, and so on. But anyhow, this is the colors that you're going to be working with later, okay? These are beautiful pastels. Uh, I've used them. I've been probably using them for about 10 years now. They just came out with this beautiful, with a real soft, which works very nicely. Okay, let's get started. What I'm going to use, I've got a box here all set up pretty much. It's the same brand. Basically, this is my little box where the broken pieces go. This is the gallery. These are the soft ones right here, and I'm going to lay them out here. Okay. This one here is what they call a semi-hard pastel, beautiful pastel. This is the one I'm going to start sketching with right here. The scene we're going to use is from the Great Smoky Mountains. This is over in Townsend. It's a beautiful scene. We did it. We went last year. We did a video, which is coming out fairly soon, about the Great Smoky Mountains. We had a class over there and had a great time. But this is the scene I'm going to use, and we're going to take you through a sequence here. Later on, we'll be doing an oil painting. We're going to do a value sketch right now, basically. And what, what a value sketch is, it's just a black and white. We're going to do with the pastels. But before you start, you've got to pick out a color a little darker than the paper. Now, this is kind of a grayish paper, so we'll pick out something just a little bit darker. We'll go through here. You want to test them. Test them on the bottom here, OK? That's the way you test your pastels. And when you're sketching, we're going to start sketching this thing. Just don't jump into your picture. Start it, evaluate it, look at it, plan it. And later on also, we're going to talk, I'm going to show you how to keep track of your paintings and how to number them and so on. But right now, we're going to start this little sketch. Look at the horizon. The horizon is right about here. OK, that's about right here. It's usually about a third, third, and a third of your, your picture. OK, what we're going to do in this sequence right here, basically, we're just going to do a value sketch with the pastels. We're going to start, set it up. A lot of design. Look for shapes. Look for, there's kind of a triangular shape there. There's triangular, there's rectangular shapes there. There's a triangular shape here in the cabin. There's uh, clouds have, uh, there's a rectangular shape there. There's kind of an oval shape there. Look for the shapes. Don't commit yourself. Very lightly draw some of these designs in here. One of the biggest problems in, in especially plain air is you only have a limited amount of time to paint. But if you'll take your time, set up these value sketches, 
uh, watercolor people are smart. They're a little smarter than oil people. They go out and they set up a nice value sketch and they keep that because first of all the light changes as you go on. I only paint usually from 9 in the morning to 12 and then again from 4 to 7 in the summer. Okay. Look for shapes. Look for shapes. Okay. Here's a horizon basically right here. Okay. This is broken up into thirds. One, two, three. Now a painting, a good painting doesn't matter if it's plain air or inside, landscape, uh, portrait, whatever you're doing. A good painting has to have three main things. It has got to have a foreground, a middle ground, and a background. If one of these things is missing, you've got problems. So we'll talk about that later, too. Look at the building here. Now, I enlarged this building over here, okay? When I went out, I took it. My first picture I shown was was right here. Okay, and this is one of this is a now something you can buy at Walmart, Sam's, whatever. They're about $69. I paid 200 this for this when it first came out. It's a great tool to watch. I can enlarge. It's a little video a, a, a digital picture frame. You can go four times in the picture. I'll show you basically the scene that I picked here. right here. See how I brought the cabin in? Okay. There you go. Right now we're going to use pictures here. Because we're in, remember, we're in the studio painting basically. We don't have the, the option to go out. It's too cold right now. Okay. Very quickly, draw your cabin in there. Watch your perspective on the cabin. Remember, things have to go back in the background. The more you draw, the more you'll find it, it comes very quickly. Okay, don't try to detail it yet. Detail comes later, okay? Then take the back of this. As you get into your, your drawing, take the back of this, this semi-hard pastel and they're broken. I break them up. They start out basically about this long. I break them up into about this, this size here. Take the side of it. Let's go all start the darks first. We're going to make a value sketch here. All your darks, wherever the darks are. Don't commit yourself yet. Half as dark as you see it. Dark right here in the in the barn. And you can do this quite rapidly when you're out painting. It doesn't take long to set up this part of it. Okay. Go to your middle values. Just kind of a middle value, a little lighter on the pressure of the, the pastel. Okay. There's clouds up here. Kind of a middle value. And I take a very a lighter color than the paper. Uh, let's take something in my little grab box here. Test it out first. Okay, that could be a little bit lighter here. Okay, now draw the lights in all wherever you see light. See the light in the background here? Light. Light comes across here. Okay. Draw just masses of color right now. Look for the big shape. The little guys will take care of themselves. Okay. I'm showing you how to set up something very quickly, especially if you're outside. Now what you do, as you get into your design, go something a little bit darker. Take a much darker color than, than what you had. Pick out something almost almost a black, but not quite a black. We'll pick out something. Now go back in and reconstruct it. Starting out with the... Little 
little barn here. Where it gets dark, you go darker. It gets lighter, you go lighter. Much darker as it goes down that horizon right across here. See it? The tree line, okay? A little darker in here. Dark, 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 dark. Dark, dark. Dark. Now right here is kind of a light back in here. Let's just go a little bit lighter, right? Right through that little field back there. Okay, put that light back in there. Now look at the light on the trees here. The trees. Right through here, the light, kind of a little bit lighter right here, where that red is in the barn. Right on the edge here, it gets a little bit lighter, comes out, okay? This is much, much brighter crust here. More pressure, you put a little more pressure on the pastel and you get it to the, here to that. Now be very careful with the pastels because you don't want to breathe the dust Basically, the way I hit it like this, and the, the, the particles will drop off. Okay, let's go back in and sketch a little more. It's very dark right in here. Very dark, 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 dark. Now, there's some little cows down there, but don't worry about those little guys right now. They're happy little cows like, uh, there you go. Okay. Go back here, just detail. Each time you go into your, back into your drawing, you go a little bit more detail, a little more detail. Watch out for your perspective that goes back, back, goes back. Painting starts out abstract. It goes through different stages. Okay. Go darker right in there. Darker right in there. Okay. Okay. We're going to leave this now, but this is the way to get started. Take a little more time. I, if I'm in the studio sometimes, just with the tonal, the value sketch, I'll spend a couple hours on this. I'm trying to show you how to get it started. Start with your darks, go to your middles, go to your lights. Okay, and reconstruct it. Thanks for dropping into my studio. You can write me online. My, my, my uh, email is dickensing at bellsouth.net. Look me up, dickensing, com, and uh, you can see what we do on, online. Appreciate you coming in the studio today. Thank you. Mm -hmm.